welcome to Rotor Riot. I'm Bubby FTV. I'm Les Flaherty, and we're in New York City getting ready to do something amazing. So our parent company is Red Cat, and they just got added to the NASDAQ. I don't really know what that means, because I don't know a whole lot about stocks, but it's really big and important, and we're here for the bell ringing ceremony. We're gonna fly some drones inside the NASDAQ studio in Times Square. No one's ever done that before, so I, this is pretty sick. As far as I know, nobody's ever done it before. Yeah. One of Red Cat's other companies is Fat Shark, and we're actually going to be flying the Shark Bite system, which is an HD platform allowing us to fly through the goggles in HD footage. Since we're flying inside, we're having to fly smaller drones, and with the Shark Bite HD system, with it being so small, we're able to fly these smaller drones inside and still fly in HD, which is pretty freaking cool. So today we're gonna be flying the Baby Shark and the uh, Cinewoop, so let's go do that. Let's go fly some drones! Yeah. Uh, we're in a cab. Yeah. A taxi, that's what it's called. One of those. They all got in cabs. We still gotta get there. So I say we get a real cab. First power, he basically yep. power looped the stock market. Yes, he did. That's what we're gonna say. Right? He did. He did power loop the stock market. This is Jeff Thompson. He's the CEO of Red Cat and the guy who made all this possible. You know, every startup wants to end up here. You don't always make it. I'm Alan Evans. I'm the CEO of Fat Shark. Greg brought me in about four years ago, and Fat Shark builds basically all the headsets used by drone racers and everyone else for first-person view. You know, it's particularly crazy because it was less than 10 years ago that somebody flying around New York was actually a big part of the FAA sanctions against flying. So it's amazing how fast the industry has changed and become accepted and normalized and how much it's matured and become respected. And I'm actually just really so happy for Greg who started Fat Shark so many years ago that he could see what he, he started by moving to China, build it as a dream, become a reality. One of the, the, the main reasons that we got together with Fat Shark is because we need to compete against some really uh, great technology in the digital goggle space and it takes a lot more money. Yeah, people know. So we're going to invest a ton of money into the Fat Shark platform to make it better, yeah. and they're doing a great job with that. You guys are growing like great. You're growing organically, 50% year over year after being with us the longest. Yeah. So you're doing great with organic growth. So you're doing a great job with Rotor Riot. That he's, a, he's such a show off. <laughs> and we're in Skypersonic. We're hoping to do the same stuff with them. We're just putting together some of the best technology in the drone industry. We're gonna make the best U.S. Drone technology, and then we're gonna use it to dive buildings, right? That's yeah, why not? Right. We're gonna build cool right. shit and have fun. What you guys are doing is what's making this happen. It's not me, it's all of you. And you guys are very passionate about what you do, but it is pretty cool to wake up every single day and work for a drone company. You're making history today, flying the first drone inside the NASDAQ. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> flying around a place nobody's ever flown before is really awesome. No one's ever been allowed to fly in here. <laughs> Yeah. 
So I think any any kind of niche or hobby market, you know, it, if it's going to truly grow, it's going to change, it's going to evolve, and that's hard for people to accept and understand. Um, but I encourage you know anybody that has been with us since the beginning, or maybe just discovered us. I mean, look look at Rotor Ryan as a whole over time. Ultimately, it's it's all been uh, a sum of good, and and I think we've helped the industry grow in a lot of good ways. Uh, we've kept a lot of people uh, really excited about a hobby that. Um, they thought was going to die, and now we're in a position that we can help it grow more than ever. Drew came on as president, and from there, it really was a turning point, because Drew is truly one of the world's best pilots, and for someone to be in that position, and also leading a company of this magnitude, and, and this much impact, and this inspirational to so many, is really a powerful thing. I'm really proud of what Drew has built. I'm proud of the team that uh, Rotor Riot has become. Um, and, and I'm proud of all the people that have helped to get there uh, because it's it's really been a collaborative effort along the way. But um, I'm most excited about seeing what, what the team does next. Thank you to the community for bringing us here because without you guys, we would have never made it to this place. It's awesome because like just three years ago, I started FPV and like three years later, FPV is on a billboard in Times Square. Thanks. If you're interested in investing in the drone industry, our cat on the NASDAQ is where it's at, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm Les Flair C. I'm Bubby FPV. And we'll see you next time on Rotor Riot. Where the heck are we at? New York City!